Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to the Venus Retrograde video. This year we've got Venus going retrograde from about 23rd July, I think it is, to 3rd September this year. Now Venus retrogrades in the sky roughly every year and a half or so. I think the next time we're going to have a Venus retrograde is March 2025. So this is significant when it comes to love life. It's significant when it comes to self-worth, you know, and this is a retrograde. So this is a time of review. This is a time of rebuilding. This can be a time where you let something go. Equally, this can be a time where the planet retrogrades back to pick something up again. So we're going to take a look at all the possibilities here. I just want to take a moment to welcome all the new subscribers. Thank you for joining. And I also wanted to take a moment to talk about the video clip that I'm going to cut at the intro of this video. It's a small grab of my recent holiday to Malaga, Spain. And I think I'm gonna include a little bit of footage of some of the locals playing chess. And this was taken at about 11 p.m. at night. It's really incredible when you go out there, you know, at 11 p.m. at night, everybody's out. You've got all the young children, you've got families, elderly relatives, everybody is out and about and they're playing chess, they're having a nice time, it's really incredible. And I know at the moment we've got some parts of Europe that are really, yeah, not having a good time, kind of in meltdown mode. Uh, and I just wanted to say that, look, all over the world, there are parts like Malaga, Spain too, where people are enjoying themselves, living good lives, having a good time as well. And for me, it was really great to see that because around where I live, I certainly wouldn't go out, you know, at 11 p.m. at night. But there you can, it's safe. And it really made me see that, you know, there are parts of the world that are doing just fine. And that's motivating for me to stay on this spiritual path and, you know, keep my consciousness good because, you know, eventually, I mean, you do that enough and you will end up living in a place like that where the consciousness and the place it's it's all a match kind of thing i think and and we're going to talk about that in this video here today because this is venus retrogrades in cancer and cancer is home cancer is where you live do you love where you live you know is your consciousness a match to where you are all this kind of thing in the world is very much in a state of flux in terms of where people are located people are really still figuring that out it's so interesting that when we had obviously you know the pandemic years 2020 to 2023 that was a time where a lot of people were leaving the cities and going to live in yes smaller areas like well i would guess malaga spain might be a smaller town but uh, the friend who i was there with she was telling me that well no it's actually grown to become quite a, a bigger, well, a bigger city certainly than when she knew it. So she's seen a lot of change there, which was really interesting. Uh, a lot of growth and that it's becoming more established as a city. But it, it's really interesting. People moved out, you know, around the time of the pandemic. And now I've heard stories of people wanting to come back into major cities and all kinds of things. The world is still very much in flux in terms of how people feel about where they are, where they want to be. Uh, and, and this is Venus retrograde. It's yes, largely in Cancer, so that will be about where you live, but this is very much about love. This is very much about your heart, relationships, all that kind of thing. So we're gonna get into it. I'm gonna take you through my notes, an overview of the energy, the dates, the next chapter is everything so we're going to take a look at that and then we're going to dive straight into the mini reports so why don't we take a look at these dates here so i've got venus retrogrades from 23rd july to 3rd september 2023 i was going to say 2003 no it's definitely not 2003 uh yeah there's a lot of threes here 23rd july to 3rd september this year venus will retrograde through a small part of Leo. Venus is currently in Leo and 
Venus will go midway like so back into Cancer to about the midway of Cancer sort of a point uh, and the nakshatras that will be covered are Maka nakshatra and Ashlesha nakshatra so with the retrograde in Leo for some of you this can be about romantic love uh, this could be about your relationship with your child as well uh, you know if if you're a parent this could be quite important in that way now with the retrograde in cancer for some of you this will be asking you to take a look at do you really love where you live yeah you know and as I went on that small trip and I got a taste of contrast you know, I got to see a place where, wow, you could potentially walk around <laughs> at 11 p.m. at night. Um, you know, and yeah, I, I saw somewhere new, you know, that's, that's quite different to where I am. It does get you to think. It does get you to think about, you know, where, where do you want to be long term? So I know that a lot of you are asking yourself that question as well. Uh, the other thing about this retrograde in Cancer is Cancer is moon, moon, mother, how you were nourished, how you were nurtured as a child. And very often how you were nurtured and nourished as a child is really going to impact how you are in intimate relationships when you were grown up, right? Uh, so this could be a lot about self-worth. This could be a time where you are focusing on your relationship with your mother actually, how you were raised, how she raised you you know, did she teach you to nurture yourself? Did she nurture herself? Was she a good role model? You know, all these things, right, can be uh, grounds for you to contemplate, to explore, to look at. And for each of the signs I'll be going through and pointing out, you know, where you might be wanting to focus your self-development work at this time. Uh, now this retrograde will particularly impact you if your natal Venus is situated between 18 degrees of Cancer through to about 4 degrees 24 minutes of arc in Leo. So as I say, uh, it's, Venus is dipping back to about midway Cancer, just a little bit over midway Cancer, 18 degrees there. Now if your Venus, Moon or Sun or Ascendant is situated between 18 degrees Cancer to 4 degrees 24 of Leo, then you could be particularly impacted by this retrograde and especially with Venus because that will be your Venus natal return okay and if Venus is retrograding on that point that's going to be especially significant for you now I've got the question here can it bring a past lover back I think this was a couple of videos ago one of you had asked the question I'll see if I can try and find the comment to dig it out while I'm editing uh, and I'll put it on the screen if I can find it if I have the time but one of you had asked the question and I remember it you'd said something about which planet brings an ex-lover back you were wondering about that and Venus retrograde really is a time that can bring someone from the past back to you but I, I, I've been thinking about this a lot recently and I've been watching all kinds of videos and studying into the narcissist archetype which in my archetype series we will cover that one at some point. I'm kind of studying it in a bit more detail now to get ready for that episode. But, um, and I don't know where it will be in the lineup but it will come. Uh, yeah, the whole narcissistic thing. I mean, I was just today watching some videos about hoovering and people who hoover you back. Hoovering is, of course, uh, you know, um, like a vacuum cleaner t type terminology that someone's trying to suck you back in. Yeah, uh, in a retrograde, this can happen. Uh, someone coming back from the past. Back to the commentator who asked which planet can bring someone back. It can actually be not just Venus, uh, well it can be Jupiter in, in a lady's chart. For men it would be a Venus retrograde that yes could, could bring someone back. But it could actually be uh, any one of the major planets having a retrograde except for obviously Sun and Moon they don't retrograde and Rahu Ketu axis are always in retrograde. But any one of the other planets really technically can bring someone back to you so it is interesting um, Venus certainly can 
bring bring someone back in but what I was saying earlier about the hoovering and all that kind of thing and I was watching videos about it and I'll link a couple of resources below in case some of you would like to learn a bit more about that uh, from a, a couple of teachers that I like to watch but is this something that you should be concerned about or yeah what, how, how to deal with this it's an interesting one uh, and what I think here is that if you've gone through a Saturn transit so that's approximately two to three years and you really haven't had anything to do with the person then I think it's really best to not um, start anything up again kind of thing the reason I say that is because that's two to three years is one Saturn transit and that's really enough time for you to have changed considerably and for the other person to have changed considerably so if this is a, some really long time ago thing yeah there might still be something there but I my I'm of the opinion that don't go back if, if you can keep moving forward if you can keep growing and changing and if you can keep being on your own path being true to yourself and the only way we would go back to something that didn't work is if for some reason our own life is not very exciting or we're not enjoying our own life so the idea is you make your life great you make your life very appealing and just do that rather than complicate things with another person that would be my advice there um, but yeah this is all stuff that you know sometimes you have to live it and experience it and you know um, I understand that too all right well I think that's my introductory spiel for this uh, Venus retrograde why don't we get stuck into the mini readings for today so Aries welcome Aries thank you so much for joining now this is Aries just checking the time we're all good Aries ascendant Aries moon or Aries Sun as per the sidereal Vedic system of astrology now Venus retrogrades in Leo to about the 6th of August that's happening in your fifth house so this could be getting you to review your romantic relationships could be getting you to review your love life in general your heart space you know what love means to you in your life uh, this could be getting you to focus on your relationships with your children as well Venus is retrograde in Cancer so that's after Leo so after 6th of August Venus will retrograde in Cancer that's to about the 3rd of September this is happening in your fourth house now this could be getting you to look at the question of do you truly love where you live this is one for you Aries this is not every single sign this is happening in your fourth house so this is about your home do you love where you live do you feel compatible with the place where you are or are you looking at long-term plans of perhaps changing that or, or doing something about it uh, now worth that sense of self-worth and how you feel about yourself and your relationship with your mother how your mother raised you how did she nurture you how did she role model self-worth to you some of these things would be really good to reflect on at this time in the reflecting of that you might get some clues about how you can improve your love life going forward there could be some some really good insights to come from that kind of contemplation Aries I want to thank you so much for joining and we are now going to welcome Taurus Taurus welcome thank you so much for joining so this is Taurus ascendant Taurus moon or Taurus Sun as per the sidereal Vedic system of astrology now Venus retrogrades in Leo to about the 6th of August that's in your fourth house so this retrograde period could be asking you to explore if you really love where you live okay it's happening in your fourth house are you compatible with where you live have you noticed a shift have you noticed things have changed around where you live or that you you know feel like you want to move long term or this kind of thing but that concept of loving where you live that that will be in focus a bit 
till about the 6th of August. Then from the 6th of August to the 3rd of September, we're going to have Venus retrograding in Cancer. Now this is asking you to really look at your own sense of self-worth. Third house is all about confidence. It is about confidence, self-worth. You might also be reviewing friendships at this time. Uh, this could be a good time to meet new people as well with Venus retrograde. We've got Venus retrograding. Sometimes Venus, when a planet retrogrades, they actually go to sweep back and pick something up. You could be picking up new friends, uh, which is really quite interesting at this time. This could also be getting you to review your relationship with your siblings as well. And that is actually really important when it comes to love life. Uh, your siblings, how you have related to them, and very often in love life, they always talk about that you could be, you know, attracting in. So this is very Freudian, like a lady will attract in someone like her father and, uh, you know, a young man might attract someone like mother. But you've also got to look at your sibling relationships as well. You'll find that in your love life, you are attracting people like your siblings uh, as well, especially if you've got an opposite gender sibling you could very well be attracting um, people in who are like your sibling. And if you have unresolved stuff with your sibling, then it's usually the unresolved, unpleasant stuff that, you, yeah, we attract it through uh, a partner and, and we still have to deal with that. So this is something that you might want to take a look at. Just in increase your awareness about what are the similar things that perhaps you are drawing through. Uh, what do you resist? What do you judge? Put these things down on paper and just, just work through them. The awareness very often dissolves the problem and things will change. So Taurus, I think this could be a nice time for you actually. I think this is, this is a nice time. This could be a very social time if you want it to be, uh, especially from you know, 6th of August to 3rd of September there. I want to thank you so much for tuning in. And we are now going to welcome Gemini. Gemini, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. So this is Gemini Ascendant, Gemini Moon or Gemini Sun as per the sidereal Vedic system of astrology. So now Venus will retrograde in Leo to about the 6th of August. That's happening in your third house. So this will get you to review your own self-worth your self-confidence, how you feel about yourself. And this is whether you are in a relationship or not. Okay, this is about you. Uh, also here in the third house, Venus is retrograding. So there might be the possibility to pick up more friends or new connections at this time. And also your relationships with your siblings and your friends will be under review at this time as well. It's a good time to contemplate those relationships. Now Venus retrogrades in Cancer to the 3rd of September. So this is from the 6th of August to 3rd of September. We've got Venus retrograding in Cancer. This is happening in your second house. So this is really getting you to take a look at your relationship with money, your relationship with big savings, wealth, how you feel about money, responsibility, responsibility in connection with money. Uh, are you ready to take on higher levels of finance, that kind of thing. And the best way to show you what are the blocks to you achieving the big wealth is actually to go after it, is actually to pursue the goal. In the pursuit of the goal, that's what's going to bring up the blocks, what blockages you have. So those are to be looked at. You need to become aware of what are the blocks and then to release them, to let them go. And you can use different release techniques. There's Dr. David Hawkins. He teaches one in his book, Letting Go. Uh, there is also the Sedona Method. And I'm trying to think what else. But there, there are lots of different uh, release type techniques you can, you can take a look at. Now this Venus retrograde in Cancer from 6 August to 3rd September could also be getting you to re-examine your family relationships or childhood connections as well. So that's something to, to bear in mind. But Gemini, overall, it's looking like a good time 
for you uh, Venus is retrograding yes partly in your second house I mean you might go shopping you might treat yourself to buying something expensive or something like that if you've been eyeing something out that's a possibility here too all right well thank you so much for tuning in and we are now going to welcome cancer cancer welcome thank you so much for joining so this is cancer ascendant cancer moon or cancer sun as per the sidereal vedic system of astrology so venus is going to retrograde in leo till about the 6th of august this is happening in your second house and this is getting you to review your relationship with money uh, it could also be that family relationships are under review at this time as well you could learn a lot about yourself actually oh gosh yeah because venus is then going to retrograde in your first house it's all about you cancer this time is about you so this is from 6 august to the 3rd of september venus is then going to retrograde in cancer in your signs this could be quite impactful for you especially if your ascendant is here yeah or your sun or your moon or your natal venus as well so this is really big cancer uh, and I've got the note here, this is really getting you to review the relationship you have with your whole self, with life itself. How do you feel about your life right now, you know? Uh, and let the feelings come up, whatever they are. You know, that's honest, true reflection. Sometimes it's not always um, the nicest thing, but it's important to look. It's important to see. How do I really feel? And... Yeah, I've got the note here, don't be looking at anyone else. And I've got the note here, can you make yourself feel loved and happy on your own? That's, that's what's really going to matter here, Cancer. It's really good to spend time working on your own inner self. You get to know who you are in a very deep way. And you get to know what you want as well. Sometimes that can be really hard, knowing what you want. Uh, out of life and sometimes we spend a lot of life figuring out what we want by experiencing things we don't want I, I do think that's productive as well I don't, I don't think that's such a bad thing um, but yeah I think this could be an amazing time for you Cancer to to do some really great honest introspection reflection you can journal things out you can do some great self-development work at this time and, and Venus retrograde can really help you generate a lot of insights about yourself. I'm excited for you, Cancer. This could be an amazing time for you. So thank you so much for stopping by. And we are now going to welcome Leo. Leo, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. So this is Leo Ascendant, Leo Moon or Leo Sun as per the sidereal Vedic system of astrology. Now Venus retrogrades in Leo till about the 6th of August in your first house so this is really getting you to review the relationship you have with yourself with all of life how do you feel about life you know um i've got the note here what is there to love and what can you love more now venus retrogrades in cancer to the 3rd of september so that's from about the 6th of august to 3rd of september this is happening in your 12th house so this is really powerful energy actually for your love life it could be a really nice time for a short getaway if you can manage one so if you're in a relationship and it's going well uh, see if you can enjoy this energy you could this is a really great time to just I don't know have a trip two three days away something like that that's a really good idea I've got the note here if your relationship is being challenged this could be a time where you make time to discuss things with your partner um, and it, it's, it could be the kind of thing where maybe you take a day trip. There is some 12th house sort of thing here. There is some sort of getaway type aspect here uh, where you are whisking your partner away or being whisked away. I don't know. But even if it's challenged, maybe a walk by the beach could be a nice thing. The reason I say that is because when you spend time with large bodies of water, especially salt water, it's enormously healing. So if you have something to talk through with your partner and you can have a long drive and go to a beach or something like that, that that'd be a really nice thing to do. I've got the note here, if you are single, uh, a short getaway somewhere could be good for you. You can go by yourself, you might meet someone, you know, um, that could be a lot of fun, but there is some good energy here for single people too. 
uh, especially yeah if, if you do something that there's some quality of escapism here or getting away from it all or you know um, you're somewhere else I am kind of seeing that here but Leo this this is nice energy if if you work well with it and uh, yeah I'm, I'm wishing you a good Venus retrograde all right we are now going to welcome Virgo Virgo welcome thank you so much for joining so this is Virgo ascendant Virgo moon or Virgo sun as per the sidereal Vedic system of astrology now Venus retrogrades in Leo to about the 6th of August this is happening in your 12th house so this could be a nice time to have a little break or to have a getaway uh, if you're in a partnership that is wonderful you can you and your partner can can have a trip somewhere even if it's just staying a night somewhere else could be a good idea um, if you're single this could be really good a short getaway or a day trip somewhere or you just being somewhere different you changing the energy you changing the scene that could be a good thing and if you're single you might meet someone while you're out and about so that could be good and then Venus will retrograde in Cancer so this is from the 6th of August to the 3rd of September this is happening in your 11th house so this is powerful wish fulfillment energy uh, this is a great time to socialize great time to meet new people great time to add people to your social networks your social media could expand at this time could be a time I've got here powerful wish fulfillment energy Venus could be quite attractive here and bring in new opportunities even for you to make money and things like that Virgo so this is you've got really nice energy here by the way uh, so good on you Virgo I'm wishing you an excellent Venus retrograde and we are now going to welcome Libra Libra welcome thank you so much for joining so this is Libra ascendant Libra moon or Libra sun as per the sidereal Vedic system of astrology so now Venus retrogrades in Leo till about the 6th of August in your 11th house so it's a great time to socialize meet new people uh, equally you know you could be quite attractive at this time you could be picking up work you could be picking up new opportunities to bring more money in as well now we've got Venus retrograding in Cancer to about the 3rd of September so this is 6th of August to about the 3rd of September this is happening in your 10th house so this could actually be a time where you review whether or not you love what you do for a living this is about the stepping stone of life that you're on how, how does it feel to you and yeah this this is one I've been sharing with clients recently I've got the note here if you love the level that you're on then it will disintegrate and the next level will appear and loving the level you're on can be really challenging actually it can be really difficult and I know that with work um, this reminds me of a time when gosh oh, this is a long time ago I was working in the whole corporate thing and I had a job where uh, I loved the work I loved what I was doing but um, myself and so in advertising you work in a partnership me and my art director both of us actually we couldn't get on with the creative director we just there was just such an incompatibility he hated us and uh, we weren't so fond of him and I was doing the Louise Hay work at that time and she said if you've got a difficult boss send the boss love so I did I sent I said I would go up the stairs every day and I'd always send him love I thought yeah Louise Hay says send him love send him love I started doing that work and within a few days he fired it, not just me but my art director as well it was quite bad but actually it was the best thing that happened and so yeah I started loving the level I was on I got fired and then the next level opened up and the next level that opened up was me actually becoming a contractor and it was a whole new way uh, of working and doing life but actually brought in more money it was a really good thing for me so at that time anyway you know that that was the next step so there is this concept of loving the level that you're on even if there's quite a chunk of it that you hate you know which I uh, yeah I, I, I wasn't happy at that workplace and I knew that that particularly a boss he didn't like me I definitely didn't like him 
oh, it was a total disaster, that whole thing. But I sent it love. I sent all the problematic things love. And then, yeah, they do. It disintegrates and the next level appears. This, this, this really does work. I've put these things to the test and they do work. So Libra, I hope somebody, maybe somebody needed that little bit of guidance. I don't know. You can let me know in the comments below, but um, I hope this helps. And, and you've got, you know, Venus is retrograding there for a large chunk in the 10th house. This is quite work focused energy. It's not the best relationship time for you. So if, you know, you can, if you're in a relationship and it's not really going so great or you're single, you want to meet someone, give it, give it some time. Okay, you're going to need some time here. Uh, till at least the 3rd of September, even a little bit beyond that, because Venus is then going to move forward in your 10th house. So that is, you know, you've still got some time there before love life, love life will become superb after, say, I think mid-September. Um, I can have a quick look. Let me have a look. It's going to take a little while here, mid-September. Oh, right, the start of October. Okay, well, there you go. Love life will improve a lot for you. October onwards. All right, Libra, thank you so much for tuning in. We are now going to welcome Scorpio. I'm just checking the time. We're okay. Scorpio is Scorpio, Ascendant, Scorpio Moon, or Scorpio Sun, as per the sidereal Vedic system of astrology. Now, Venus retrogrades in Leo till about the 6th of August in your 10th house. So with this chunk of the transit, you could really be reviewing how much you love your work. Do you love what you do? Do you love the stepping stone that you're on? And of course, if, if you're not happy with parts of that, the way to dissolve it, if you, can, if you can love the level you're on, sometimes loving the level you're on, it does mean setting up a boundary. It does mean saying no. It does mean looking after you for a change. Okay, so, but there's something about you needing to love the step that you're on and then the next level will appear. Now, Venus will retrograde in Cancer from the 6th of August to the 3rd of September. That's happening in your ninth house. So this is a really good time to review the love in your life, wherever that's coming from, whether it's partner or friends or siblings or all kinds of relationships. So we're going a bit broader here in this ninth house because we're opposite the third. So I'm going to broaden that up. Uh, also, how self-worth was cultivated in you by your father. Yeah, this is a really interesting one. Um, how was self-worth role modeled to you by your father? And maybe he didn't consciously do that. Maybe because, you know, our parents, they were working so hard, just flat out doing the survival thing, right? So they probably weren't consciously going, I better role model self-worth to my child. No, they probably weren't doing that. But in some way, just through living, they would have role modeled self-worth to you. How did they do that? Were they, were they upbeat about themselves? Did they feel good about themselves? Did they, or were they down on themselves at times? Um, was life hard? All that kind of thing. So this could be a, a time just to, to look at how was self-worth role modeled to you by your father? Uh, what did you learn from that? And how do you want to do it differently for yourself and potentially for your children? Okay, got here. Um, this is an excellent time to be rebuilding your sense of self-worth on your own and to be inventing that concept of self-worth for you, how, how, how does it live in you? And for you to, this is a way of you reparenting yourself or taking charge of, or, you know, and looking after your own inner child. Okay, that's, that's kind of the self-development work we can be doing here with this Venus retrograde. It's really powerful. I've got here that you are, can now be in a position where you are not waiting for anyone to approve of you. You approve of you. And that's classic Louise Hay. She has an affirmation, which I think she transformed her whole life on and ended up building a magnificent life off the back of one affirmation. And that one affirmation was, I love and approve of myself. And that was it. She used to repeat that hundreds of times a day, just silently in her mind. And that really transformed her whole life. So Scorpio, that is what I have for you today. Thank you so much for tuning in. And we are now going to welcome Sagittarius. 
Sagittarius, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. So this is Sagittarius Ascendant, Sagittarius Moon, or Sagittarius Sun, as per the sidereal Vedic system of astrology. Now we've got Venus retrograding in Leo to about the 6th of August. This is happening in your ninth house. This is a good time to review your self-worth in the context of self-approval. Do you approve of you? And I was just in Scorpio there and I was sharing with them the fact that Louise Hay transformed her whole life off the back of one positive affirmation. And that positive affirmation was, I love and approve of myself. She would write that down. She would say that to herself silently in her head hundreds of times. You know, and it really uh, helped transform her life. So now Venus retrogrades in Cancer. This is from about 6th of August to 3rd of September. And this is happening in your eighth house. So this could be a time where you are reviewing your love life. You are reviewing the person you're married to. You're reviewing relationship with in-laws. You're, re you're reviewing your relationships within your family as a whole. Uh, and if you are single, this could be a good time where you review your relationship actually with your health, where you review your relationship with your health uh, and your diet as well. Okay, so this could be a good time to, um, you know, and this this could be relaxing in nature as well. This is the eighth house of you know, we're sort of slowing down and potentially stopping here. So you might need rest. You might need a spa day. You might need. Um, I'm trying to think when was the last time I had a spa day? A very long time ago, many years. But I have my own spa day at my in my own place. I just get, you know, essential oils. I do my own thing. I don't need to I don't need the outside world. <laughs> I've given all that up now. No, I haven't. Well, I went to Malaga, Spain. That's the outside world. That was really cool. That was like a spa day. That was like four days of spa day, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, it was pretty amazing. I haven't had a holiday for a really long time. Gosh, it was so good. Anyway, Sagittarius, if you could take a little break, uh, this would be a good time to do it. So I hope that covers everything. I think it does. I think this could be a nice time for you, Sagittarius. Take advantage of it. If you need time to rest and chill out, take advantage of this retrograde time. Thank you so much for joining. And we are now going to welcome Capricorn. Capricorn, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. So this is Capricorn Ascendant, Capricorn Moon or Capricorn Sun as per the sidereal Vedic system of astrology. So now Venus retrogrades in Leo till about the 6th of August. This is happening in your 8th house. This is a good time to review your love life, especially relationships with in-laws. Um, if something needs to change at this time, this could be a time where you need to speak up. Okay, uh, you, you might need to, to, to do something here. Actually, I just want to check another thing, Capricorn, because, yeah, you have been going through a difficult time. I just want to double check. Um, Yes, the thing that I wanted to double check is is here. Yeah, you might need to speak up. Yeah, yes, there could be something where um, the, your voice needs to be heard on some issue. Uh, now, Venus retrogrades in Cancer to 3rd September. So that's from 6th August to 3rd September. And that's happening in your 7th house. So again, this here is a time to review your relationship with your partner. Okay, things could be really challenging in your relationship. Um, yeah, I'm just having a look now. Yeah, things, things would be quite tough. So again, this could be like a time where you speak up, but equally... This could be a time where, where you do inner work to give yourself some space and time okay uh, yeah there, there, there could be some challenges here Capricorn I am seeing that 
got the note here if you are single that's fine it's a great time of heart healing it's a great time to review lessons in love this is key for whether you're single or you're together with somebody you're reviewing the lessons in love you're reviewing what are you learning you're keeping the focus on the learnings on the wisdom on the insights you're gaining about other people and yourself okay these the the wisdom is really enriching you so you might be in a really tough situation but it is actually generating somewhere okay and this is the thing if you're focused on the problems and on the other people you might be missing out on the, there's there's a lot of wisdom that's being clocked up so yeah it is a great time of heart healing a great time to review lessons in love rebuilding trust with the universe and life itself this is a good time for learning about relationships and writing your beliefs about love as well uh, and the other thing that this is I know what the message is here for you now because this message came up and I didn't write it down and I knew that one of the groups needed this and I think it's you this is actually a time where Venus is retrograding opposite Capricorn seven places away this is the other and the other could be the divine okay so this could be really a time where you're getting close to the divine in quite a massive way and you are actively going to hand over your problems to God okay that's going to be a big thing I think that that some of you do here uh, you may need to hand things over to the divine to be healed that look God I can't I can't deal with this I give it to you and you you're going to get possibly um, to know divine love divine love is there for us 24 7 it's always there it's always there in the now it's just we who are distracting ourselves with the outside world or it's we who are not tuning in okay that divine love and support is always there for us at, at our core it's who we are at, at the core of all of us is just love we're all made of love so it's this thing that if things are really tough if things are really challenging then it's it's time for you to go within all right meditation journaling writing things down spending time on your own slow walks this is what I do like slow walks and slow thinking I'll think very slowly about something deliberately slowly because I want to understand I want to understand myself I want to understand the other so that some, sometimes these things require time as well hang in there Capricorn if you're going through something tough hang in there you're going to be fine your reward time is coming up all right the good times are coming they are she's got to hang in there all right we are now going to welcome Aquarius Aquarius welcome thank you so much for joining this is Aquarius ascendant Aquarius moon or Aquarius sun as per the sidereal Vedic system of astrology so now we've got Venus retrograde in Leo to about the 6th of August in your seventh house it's a good time to review relationships with your partner it's a good time to be freeing yourself of old patterns and as I was just saying in Capricorn because they've got some seventh house action as well this could really be a, a time where you hand things over to the divine Aquarius if you are going through something that is too much right now you might well be and, and things could be really really challenging really difficult this is this Venus retrograde yes it's about love and it's about you discovering a new love and that is divine love okay so you might be in a relationship and there might be a lot of arguments might be hard it might be difficult hand it over to God spend more time with God which means spend more time in contemplation spend more time on your own and one of the ways I do this is I go on slow walks even if it's just around the block even I've only got energy to walk around the block I do that and I do it very slowly and I think slowly I just kind of ponder something very slowly and in that there's like a spaciousness that happens and the knots kind of unravel and like you know what was really tight and difficult can sometimes just 
I don't know, it can kind of unravel um, when there's a bit of space and time. So you might be wanting to get yourself a bit of space and time. Now Venus retrogrades in Cancer to about the 3rd of September. So that's from 6th of August to 3rd of September. This is happening in your 6th house. So this is a really good time actually to be more work focused and to review how much you enjoy your work. Uh, you know, are you enjoying the current stepping stone that you're on? And the way, of course, to get to the next stepping stone is you, you love the one that you're on. You love it completely, it will disintegrate, you will be on the next uh, stepping stone there. I've got the note here, if you're in a relationship, just know that love life might be difficult until Venus clears your sixth and seventh houses. So that's right through to early November. Aquarius, you are having one of the most difficult, uh, I've got the note here, you've got the toughest Venus retrograde energy here. Yeah, you're the one sign that's got the tough spot here um, because the retrograde is happening across your sixth and seventh. So when Venus goes forward, it takes ages for her to clear that difficult part. Um, I feel for you, Aquarius. Apologies, we got cut off there, but Aquarius, I think I was just saying, I feel for you. I think some of you might be going through a tough thing right now. Hang in there, better times are coming. Honestly, Aquarius, you're gonna have some superb transits coming up later, so don't worry. Um, think things are, are gonna get better. You're being polished into a diamond. Keep going, keep going through this patch. It's gonna be okay. And we are now gonna welcome Pisces. Pisces, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. So this is Pisces Ascendant, Pisces Moon or Pisces Sun as per the sidereal Vedic system of astrology. Now Venus retrogrades in Leo to about the 6th of August and that's happening in your 6th house. So this is a really good time to review how much you love what you do for a living. It's a good time to be work focused. Um, you know, some of, some of the focus of your energy will be there. Then Venus will retrograde in Cancer from the 6th of August to about the 3rd of September. This is happening in your fifth house. So this is really great energy for your love life. It's good for romance if you're single. You know, this could be a time where, yeah, Venus is retrograding. Maybe you pick someone up and bring them forward with you on the journey, something like that. Uh, this could be a time where you, you meet someone. That's, that's very possible. Now, if you are in a relationship, this is a good time to review how that relationship is going. This is great energy for romance and creativity, just generally. So if your relationship is in a really good place, you might be inspired to take a little trip away or something like that. Uh, if you are single, then this is a great time to release old hurts, old patterns in your heart. This could just be yeah, a, a release. Um, you know, we've got all the rewords, review, rebuild, release. You could be releasing something from your heart. Um, I've got the note here, good time to write out your beliefs about love. Write them down. And that's a challenging exercise if we do it very honestly, because we can all write what we'd like to believe about love. What we'd like to believe is true. But then when we look at our love life, if love life hasn't been good, then writing out our beliefs about love becomes a bit challenging actually because there must be some negative beliefs in there to have brought that situation about. So contemplating all of that could be, could be interesting. Sometimes we can be surprised about what beliefs we really hold about ourselves uh, until we sit and contemplate them, write them down. Sometimes reflecting on how your parents role modeled things to you, that helps a lot because you can see how they were is how you are. And until we change some of these things, we consciously see these things and decide, do you know what? I want to do it differently. I want I want to change this. I don't want it to keep going like this. You know, this retrograde period could be a brilliant time where you review how love life has been working. And if you're really honest with yourself and you really look at, you know, what must I believe 
to have attracted this person you know and but don't be hard on yourself either go gently don't be hard on yourself either because i i know i've done this where i've oh man i've been so hard on myself like what the hell am i attracting like you know i, I can just feel really bad about myself but don't do that don't do the feel bad about yourself part uh well if you need to release allow those feelings to come and then release them the thing is it's like just allow allow the feelings to come up and then let them go let them run through they will run through they will dissolve and you'll feel lighter you'll feel better and but be honest look at look at what really is what the beliefs must be in order to have brought about what you have or have experienced and then write the new beliefs of what you would like it to be do you, and you're pisces you'll be great at that part you'll be great at the you know what you'd like it to be but look at look at what is as well see see what is and yeah that 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 will serve you because it it will show you where the work is needed but pisces it's all looking good to me let's have a look here it is especially especially the time they're in leo that's some nice energy there i want to thank you so much for tuning in everyone thank you for liking subscribing sharing thank you for being here thank you for making this such a wonderful community and i look forward to seeing you next time mm -hmm.